YouTube land, what's up? It's your girl Makar from Cougars Cause. How y'all doing? So listen, y'all know every blue moon the cougar will get in the lab, right? So I had got wine down or whatever. I'm having a cup of coffee now. So I had got wine down or whatever. And so I had plopped in the bed or whatever. When I could be doing some other things, really, how dare you? So I had plopped down in the bed or whatever, finna do my research in the lab. Y'all, this coffee's so good. I got so much creamer loaded into a hazelnut creamer, just coffee and creamer. And so I went on news break. And so when I went on news break, I saw this title that said, Do you have a fear of being single? So I thought, Whoa, well, maybe I'll share some of my research tonight. So it took me to this page called Psychology Today. And this looks like it's written by Amy M. Gordon, PhD, Between Me and You. Fear, do you have a fear of being lonely? Are you falling fast or settling quickly because you don't want to be alone? Key points. The number of single American adults is rising. Despite the growing trend towards singlehood, not everyone is comfortable being single. Y'all know I got to have another swig of this. Fear of being single may be due in part to stigma and people viewing single adults more negatively than partner adults. People who fear being single are most likely to settle for less in their relationships and have a harder time getting over ex-partners. Read full story. I think we'll go in. Oh, it's delicious. The number of single American adults is rising with the fewer people getting married than in previous generations. In 2019, about a third of U.S. adults polled by Pew Research were single, 31%. Of those, about half were looking for a relationship while the other half were content with singlehood. Interestingly, the demographic group with the highest rates of singlehood were younger men between 18 and 29 and older women 65 plus. They must have been adding my wisdom in there under that 65 plus. Despite this growing trend towards singlehood, not everyone is comfortable being single. Some people experience anxiety. I do get anxiety. Or distress when thinking about being single. Uh, sometime, like when I, uh, when I have my moods about being single when I'm feeling lonely, then I do. But then when I'm jumping back in the bed, what was I thinking? Having snacks and stuff, then I don't. Oh, my God. Oh, you're an A+. Plus. You're, you're, you're simply amazing. Where was I at? Okay, this could be a concern about the current state of singlehood or fear of not finding someone in the future. And this fear is not isolated to those who are currently single. People in relationships can also feel anxious when thinking about the possibility of their current relationship ending and being single again in the future. I know a couple of women like that. There is even a term to describe the fear of being single when it reaches phobic levels. Ontophobia? Onto A N U P T A P H O B I A. How about that? How about it? What causes people to fear being single? People who fear being single report concerns about missing out on long-term companionship, never having a family or children, and growing old alone. But they also mention being judged negatively and feeling worthless and bad about themselves, tapping into singleism, the stigma associated with singlehood. 
I can't say I feel all of that. I can say this coffee good. Although perceptions of singlehood are shifting as people increasingly choose to be single. Damn. Researchers have previously found that people view single adults more negatively than partner adults. For example, research from the early 2000s showed that people tended to describe married individuals as mature, stable, honest, happy, kind, and loving. In contrast, they were more likely to describe single individuals as independent, but also self-centered, unhappy, lonely, and ugly. I can be all those things, but I don't think I push that agenda. Oh, it's all gone. Oh, how dare you go? How does the fear of being single end up affecting people's relationship choices? There is evidence that people who are afraid to be single can end up being less selective when looking for a romantic par partner and tend to settle for less satisfying relationships. There must be a 1% to this. Because y'all already know where I fall. Baby, I die! People who fear being single are also more likely to experience great greater longing for ex-partners and have a harder time getting over breakups. I did. I do have a hard time getting over breakups. That's why I don't get back in this stuff. For example, results from one month study tracking 117 individuals who had just gone through a breakup showed that on days when people were more afraid of being single, they missed their exes more and were more likely to try to renew their relationship. On the flip side, breaking up increases people's fear of being single, regardless of who does the breaking up. Does this sound familiar? Do you or someone you know tend to pursue relationships not because you've met someone you really want to be with, but out of the fear of not being in a relationship at all? I once was there, but then every time I noticed that I would go back and try to create a moment or, you know, even when I would say, hey, well, me and this person had more fun than we did ha have bad times. Soon as we fell out, I realized why. Because I had forgot. But soon as an argument came or something, it took me back. I realized why I let go in the first place. So... I, I did fit that mode of breaking up with people is hard. And I still do have a hard time now getting over my ex. Like I said, I don't want to make it look like, you know, uh, I'm totally, you know, out of the blind. Because I'm not. Because cause I'm fine for the most part. Like now, I'm not having no lonely days. But when I do have lonely days, you know, sometimes they can last for a week or they can last for two weeks or something. Three weeks at the max. And then after that. I'm done. So some of those things do take place when I'm going through those periods. But when those periods blow over, I'll be so glad I ain't with nobody. Then later on, I'll be looking for my future husband and writing him a note. And then later on, stay gone for a little bit while I want to play a little bit. Like, you, you know. 